Lord, and thank you for tuning in to the broadcast of True Worshippers Apostolic Church, a church governed and ruled by God, where the word through revelational knowledge is imparted that you may know what is the hope of his calling. We want you to be blessed by this ministry, and we ask that you reach out by faith. Believe God for your miracle as we go to him in prayer. After prayer, we will hear from the pastor and founder of True Worshippers Apostolic Church, Elder Larry C. Nancy. Repent, repent and stop their wicked ways and come on in before too late and look upon everyone that's sick. Let them know, Lord God, that you can heal if they will stop huh, and lend sin no more. In the mighty name of Jesus, the word says, any sick among you, huh, let them call for the elders of the church that he may pray. Huh? Lord, know that you are a healer right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we believe and trust you knowing that you are able in the mighty name of Jesus, we count everything done, and we're going to give you the glory and the honor and the praise that's already thine. In Jesus' name, amen, and thank God. Hallelujah. This time we bring to you God's preacher, God's teacher, Elder Larry C. Nancy. Oh, God is a wonderful God. One more time, please. God is a good God. He's a great God. He can do anything but fail. He has moved so many mountains out of my way. Oh, God is a wonderful Let's say amen. So thank you, Jesus. Amen. God bless you. God bless you to all of our many viewers out in television land. Amen. I am Pastor L.C. Nass Sr. Coming to you once again in the mighty name of Jesus. Coming to you with the hope that you will get a better understanding of what thus says the Lord. Amen. I heard the Lord say amen in Jeremiah 6, 16. Stand in the ways and see. As for the old path, where is the good way? And walk therein. Amen. I want you to know we do believe, teach, and obey what the apostles taught. That is, there's but one Lord, one, Lord, one, faith, one faith, and one baptism. One, baptism. one, God, one God, and Father of all, who is above all, above through, all, through all, in you all, all. then I say if you say Amen. God bless you. Truly, we thank and praise God for us to tune us in once again. Amen. And we, without prolonging the time, we're going to let the choir come into you once again in their own way. Let's say amen. amen. Thank you. 
they do things to cause their parents to cry. Oh my God. Children may go out and do exactly what they've been taught oh not to do. And you know that parents, they may punish that child, that parents may go somewhere behind closed doors and cry. Why would you go out and do something that I told you not to do? Oh, man. 
made by a woman for a woman. And she wanted to know, did I have a document stating that pants were made for a man? So if I didn't have to have any paper saying that pants were made for a man, then I shouldn't be teaching something I couldn't do. My Lord Jesus! Oh, oh, oh. Once again, I come to tell you, history major, amen, you an error in your learning. Amen. Amen. All right? If you get a Bible by now, look in the Old Testament on the Exodus, the 28th chapter, starting at the 40th, amen, verse. We're going to read Exodus 28, 40 and 42 for the extra like of time. We want to let you see who made pants. All right now. What they made pants for. Yeah. And I guarantee you found out it was not a woman that made pants for a woman. But we're going to let you see who made pants. Read. Yeah. And for Aaron's son. And thou, for what? Aaron's son. Uh-huh. Thou shalt make coats. And thou shalt make for them girdles. And bonnets shalt thou make for them for glory and for beauty. We want to read the 47th verse, please. First. And thou shalt make them linen breeches. Uh-huh. This was for Aaron and his son, the priesthood. Yes. And this was God talking to Moses, in case you don't know what's going on. The Lord had commanded Moses to build him a house, to build him a tabernacle. He told Moses what kind of material to make all of, the, you know, the different dishes out of, what kind of wood to build. Amen. He told Aaron that Moses every type of material to put in his house. Then, when it came to his priest, God even had a certain fabric for the priest to wear. And then he told him, thou shalt make linen breeches. They were not called pants. They were not called slacks. They were not called trousers. Then God's people, the saints of God, 
she put a difference between the way they ran and the way the horse ran. in your hair. You got this weave in your head or maybe your natural hair. You got red, green, and blue balls and all kind of silver bells in your hair. That's embroidery. That's a sin and a shame. 
not in God's house. Amen. Not with broad and hair or gold. Men, you don't need a bunch of chains around your like, neck like Mr. T. You don't need Praise a bunch of chains around Once your again, wrist. thank you for tuning in to the True Worshippers of Apostolic Church broadcast. Truly, it's been a blessing for us to reveal to you God's love through His Word. We do appreciate your love and support. Feel free to write or call us. The mailing address is True Worshippers Apostolic Church, P.O. Box 9826, Pine Bluff, Arkansas, 71611. The phone number is 870-536-2065. We're located at 106 North Bloom Street, Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Elder Larry C. Nan Sr. is the pastor. And yes, we do invite you to join in with us once again for the next broadcast of True Worshippers Apostolic Church. God bless you. ArkansasStateParks.com, your portal to Arkansas's 52 state parks. Hundreds of photos, easy navigation, trip ideas, camping, cabins, lodging, things to do, and spectacular videos to immerse you in the natural beauty and adventures at your state parks. Here for you at ArkansasStateParks.com. Sponsored by this station, the Arkansas Broadcasters Association, and your Arkansas State Parks. Aren't you glad we've got them? I pledge to make